ask Tom on home show. David from Livingston, Texas has a question about uh, some subfloor. David from Livingston, Texas has a question about some subfloor moisture. Yeah, now he lives in a pier and beam home, Tom, but it has mm -hmm. plenty of ventilation. In fact, David writes the low side is three feet and the high side is six feet off the ground and it's open all around and i'm installing wood flooring with a vapor barrier and i had to stop for a few days life got in the way he said when i returned i found moisture and mold on the subfloor i'm sure it's just mildew uh, but anyway I, I found places where my wife painted the subfloors and those were fine i was told to paint the subfloor under the house with an oil-based paint to stop moisture from building up on the subfloor and vapor barrier Will this help? And if not, what would you recommend, Tom? This problem, and we mention this a lot with a lot of questions we get, Charlie, in the Houston area, in the Livingston as part of the Gulf Coast area, you don't use vapor barriers. So he let that sit and fester, and now it's starting to mark in wood, as opposed to paint. Paint won't really grow. It'll grow a little mildew if it gets real bad, but it needs a lot of air and stuff. But wood will start to feed a mold. And so what he's doing is he's watering the wood because condensate's forming on there. So the thing he needs to do is get rid of the vapor barrier and it should stop the problem. Let it breathe. Just like he, he started the question saying, you know what, the floor is up high enough. We got lots of airflow. It's breathing well. They never had a problem before. Not until he put the vapor barrier down. Get rid of the vapor barrier and never, do not use oil-based exterior paint under a house or on the outside of the house, it's really hard to find. You can use primers and, and, and certain things and like that, but oil-based paints have vegetable oils and they will grow black with mold in the Gulf Coast area. It is not a product, I don't even think you could find much on them on the shelf today, that is an oil-based finished paint for the outside of a home. Now, lead paint, that's a whole other show. That was many years ago for an old other show. Yeah, Don't I hear much my, about that anymore. My grandfather was a house painter. I know yours was too. Uh, oh, there was yes. a house painter somewhere in your, your lineage. Uh, my back up your tree. Yes. Yeah. You and, you know, I remember when they got rid of lead paint, he cussed up a storm. He says, man, that's, we're just not going to get good color anymore without the lead in the paint. But Well, it, now your grandfather, like mine, probably, because mine did, they would mix the color on the job. On the job, and exactly so, and right. Would max it. Today, you go to a computer and you squirt this, you squirt that, and boom, you got the perfect match. But back yeah. then, you had to be an artist with an eye to get the right color paint for people. Yeah, and and somehow they say that it's better now. But well, it, it might be. But um, no, they, I mean, they, the actually, lead paint done a lot now. But, but lead paint used to hold its color it better. Going. It was it, oh, yeah. it hung in longer and all that. Yeah, yeah. When they transitioned out of it, there was 30 years where it was terrible paint. But now, I, I got to say this for the paint industry, they've come a long way, and there's some real high-quality paints that do hold their color and stuff now. But, Charlie, you were right. There was a time there from the 80s to the 2000 and, and 2010s of paint were going through a lot of trial and error. Mostly error, but that's all right. It's <laughs> it's like wildlife photography. It's trial and mostly error. All right, click on go. Ask Tom if you want to send us a question. Go ahead and click on that, and you'll um, come to this where you can either send us a, a question or a video and fill out this form, send us pictures, because it helps us do a better job. And gosh almighty, don't you know that's why we do this. You want to do a good job. Tom loves doing it. We love helping him do it. And that's why we post a brand new video every day. You'll find them on our Facebook page, the Home Show Radio uh, YouTube channel, and of course at homeshowradio.com.